Hello and welcome to Craig Pest's channel. Now, uh, I believe it was in December 2020, late December, that I made a video titled PLP 50 Project Part 1. And the gist of that video was that I got a 50cc two-stroke engine, and I was going to make a custom PLP 50 kit car, basically, that I was going to build from scratch out of stuff that I have. Well, two weeks later after I made that video, I put out another video titled 50cc Power Wheels Part 1. And the gist of that video was I was going to use the 50cc and put it in a Power Wheels Cadillac truck because I said, quote, that I did not have the skill to make the PLP 50. I didn't have the patience to weld an entire tube frame and put it together. So I decided to put it into a Power Wheels car. And in that Power Wheels car, I ripped out everything in the back. I made a custom axle, and I did everything like that. I put a chain in. I just did a lot of stuff. And what wound up happening was I actually weakened the structure to it. So number one, I did weaken the structure. But number two, the sprocket I made by accident, so it went forward and back. It went like this. And that kept causing the chain to fly off. So I fixed that. And then I weakened the structure so much by ripping out the back that I jumped in it kind of hard. And I actually broke a piece, a very thin piece of plastic back there, which caused it to uh, not be usable anymore. So I was thinking, why don't I redo this peel? And then I thought about the bodywork, how I'd have to put a frame. And I thought, why don't I just make the frame for the bodywork out of wood? because it's not that much different from making it out of metal. And the original peel is made out of fiberglass anyway, so what difference would it make? So I decided, why don't I make it out of wood? So I got the old frame that I made. Oh yeah, I did make a video about the frame, I forgot. I'll show you everything I made in the video, but I got the frame back out, put the engine back on, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a body out of wood and fiber, and not fiberglass, sheet metal. So let's get to where I made the frame and with the engine on it. So here we are at the frame to the new peel thing I'm making. As you can see, I did use that go-kart bottom frame thing, go-kart frame style thing, to make a frame, and I added wheel extenders, and I just threw these tires on. As you can see, the Cadillac is broken. It is messed up under there. That's the thin piece of plastic right there that broke. So, um, yeah, that's kind of going in the garbage. Maybe I'll make a sled out of it. But this, as you can see, I put the engine on the back, and the original peel engine was up here, but I thought that would be too much trouble to put the engine here, run a belt to the back, and then or run a chain to the back is what it would have actually been, and um, run a belt or a chain going across to there, so I just thought I'd put it there. I have enough room here, uh, so that'll be fine, and I'm going to cut this off anyway and attach another couple inches here so that'll be good and um yeah so i'm going to put a body on this made of wood and yes i am aware i am wearing a t-shirt and there is snow everywhere but it is like 33 degrees and you may think that's cold but uh the last week it has been 17 degrees for basically the high so this 33 feels like a warm summer's day right now but back to the peel uh as we can see my rear arm design is a little weird, but I'm going to talk you through it. So, this is a front, uh, what is it? It's the front fork to a bicycle. And what I did was I, well, I drilled a hole through this piece of pipe to put the sprot, the, uh, what is it? It's a fork. I keep, I keep forgetting the name, sorry about that. But I drilled a hole to put the fork through, welded the fork to that, and then welded the pipe to here. And then I took another piece of pipe, as you can see, the pipes, one is on top of the frame and one is below the frame. I took another piece of pipe and put it below the frame and welded the uh, fork to that. It's a very messy weld, I know, but I welded it to that. So now we can kind of stand on this all we want. It's very strong. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be making a wood frame for it. And uh, I'll show the frame when I'm, I think I should start on the frame tonight. Here is the frame, the basic frame that I built. Just now, as you can see, it has the fender cutouts. I followed, so far, the measures of the drawing, just for making 
this bottom piece, and uh, let's draw a date on the bottom. There we go. PLP 50 replica, built by Craig Pest, January through February 2022. I'm going to put the engine, mount the engine on today, because right now it's just kind of flopping around. So I'm going to bolt that to there. We'll put a bolt through this so it doesn't flop around, because this is pretty messed up right now. But we're going to put it together. And as we can see, 25H sprocket here goes down to the 25H sprocket here. And that'll work fine. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt that engine down today, put the chain on it, and make sure it drives. So I'm going to put some two-stroke fuel down the fuel inlet here for the carburetor. Let it work, and then um, pop it in the tent here, because it's supposed to snow. I'll throw it in this tent. Oh, yeah, I got an MG. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot I own that. <laughs> uh, but I'll put it in the tent here, and um, yeah, until I make the frame. So thanks for watching. If you watched this whole video, I doubt you did. If you did, congratulations. You won a prize. Uh, so thanks for watching.